Hi everyone, it's Ro Klein watching another movie of the week and the movie of this week was Tomorrow Never Dies from 1997. So if you haven't watched it, watch it now. If you're new to Movie of the Week in 2024, we're doing franchises, reboots, things of those elements. We're doing four James Bond movies. We did Dr. No, The Spy Who Loved Me, and now we're doing Tomorrow Never Dies. So you haven't watched, you know, those movies and those videos. Do that now. Do that now before you do this one and then, you know, watch Tomorrow Never Dies and watch this one. So I actually, like, it's kind of crazy that... I don't even, like, I don't even know ex exactly where to start with this, but, like, I think, like, when I watched, like, okay, let me backpack, let me backpack, I know. I've seen, like, a few James Bond movies before, and then during the pandemic, I was, like, let me watch every single James Bond movie in, like, order, and there's, like, 30 of them, so it was, it took me a while, and I also didn't want to watch it, like, one every day, so it was, like, one every two days, I think, so it was, like, it took me two months. But I think when I was like watching all of those, I was like, this is my favorite James Bond movie. I was like, this is so good. Like if I'm in my list of like top movies, I was like so into it. And I don't know, I, like I see why, but I also am like, I think I was a little bit crazy at that time. I don't know. And I kind of get into like why I think it's really good, but it's also kind of crazy because I feel like this is one of the ones that like are badly reviewed. Like it's one of the like worst James Bonds. Like I don't know. I like quickly looked at a review thing when I was like, you know, started doing these James Bond videos, and this wasn't ranked that high. But I don't know. You know, people's opinions. People's opinions. So I did a Sean Connery movie. I did a Roger Moore movie, and I wanted to do Pierce Brosnan movie. And obviously, I picked this one because I really liked this one. You know, I talked about in my last James Bond video how like every single villain they just kind of have the same thing where they just want to blow up the world. Um, and they think they're doing a good thing by blowing up the world. This one wanted to blow up things and whatever, but not necessarily, like, because he was thinking he was doing a good thing. He wanted to do it because he had this, like, news outlet and wanted to, like, be the one to break the news and, like, build it that way. And so I thought that was, like, an interesting thing that you don't see that often with villains. And so I think I like that because... You know, it's like you're getting the same thing all the time in villains. So when you do have something that's a little bit different, like it strikes out to you. I don't know how this guy got Terry Hatcher. That's her name, right? Who, you know, known from Superman Lois. I think that's the name of the show. Anyway, so it's kind of crazy that she's like a Bond girl here. Obviously, we're 20 years later than 1977. And the action is just like on another level. Like the action it is just such another different level. Like what they're able to do with the camera, like... So it's kind of something where it's like, yeah, like, didn't look that good in the 60s when you're watching something now. But, like, probably when you were in the 60s, you, they didn't have, like, technology. They didn't have the things that they could do, you know, 30 years later. And that's why it, like, looked probably so good to them. And so now it's like this franchise has built so much and they're able to do so much with it. I'm also going to talk about my girl, Michelle. Um, I loved her. And so, like, I, like, loved her and this, like, loved her. And that's kind of, like, how I, like, knew about her, obviously. And then, you know, now she's won an Oscar and um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah, I think we did that already for movie of the week last year, I think. So she's so great in this. She's so great in this. I actually read something in Letterboxd that someone was like, she outshined James Bond in this. And honestly, like, her action scenes were, like, actually really, really good. And, like, you know, like, she really, like, I don't know that much about her, like, actress acting history, but I'm sure, like, she probably did a lot of those like movies they you know um action asian action chinese action movies so she probably had like a lot of training in that and it's something where also with um action movies they film a lot in other countries to try to get audiences in that other country and so you know china is like a big consumer of action movies and so having you know it be, take place in china and then having chinese star and i don't know exactly um, but yeah, she was so great. The action was so great. I also feel like she had such good chemistry with Pierre Brosnan. Like, it just was, like, another level. Um, super, super great. Like, they just, like, worked really good together. And that's something that, like, you need to have in this case. And, like, I wonder how many, like, screen tests they did together. Obviously, like, he was already James Bond. Like, this is not his first James Bond movie. Um, even if it was, I feel like he would have been hired first. But, like, they probably, like, had to work so well together and she, like, beat whatever other actresses it was. But sh she's amazing. So, I do want to talk about how her and 
well, they were, you know, handcuffed together. And um, in the latest Mission Impossible movie, that was something that happened. And I'm actually going to do Mission Impossible here later in the year. So a little bit of a spoiler. But I think like I like that Mission Impossible scene. I was like, I love the handcuff. I did feel like I've seen it before. And then I now rewatching this James Bond movie was like, this is where it is. So they are handcuffed in this. They are on a motorcycle in Mission Impossible. They were driving a car. But that handcuff scene of Mission Impossible is actually like really, really long. Um, but yeah, I think it's like really interesting what you can do with that. And so they're able to do like funny things with it. And the, yeah, like the chemistry just worked out. Like I feel like with these James Bond movies, there's also, there's always like, three well I feel like the first few there's always like three bond girls and as you go through the bond girls more and more get agency um I feel like this one only had two unless there was one at the beginning I can't oh my god there was one at the beginning <laughs> okay <laughs> so there's always one at the beginning right yes oh my god I'm like I don't know I feel like I'm just messing stuff up there's one in the beginning that has nothing, no agency. Then there's one in the middle that has a little bit of agency, a little bit, but not. She died in this one. She's dead. Um, spoiler. Alert. Wait, you're supposed to be watching this already. What am I saying? And then there's one at the end who has even more agency and is fighting back. And so I think that's why, like, I did the Roger Moore m movie before because that's like the Russian. She was a Russian spy in that one. And then this one, she there is like you know Michelle. I don't know exactly know she was. In, spy or whatever she was um but I don't know if it's like I feel like I'm just picking the James Bond movies where like there's women spies or women fighting back like I feel like it's not every single James Bond movie where there's women with this much agency like I really don't so I think I just picked the ones and sorry <laughs> I'm hating the bad picture also I feel like that's something that like I, I don't know really if it was in Roger Moore's or exactly when it started, but all these James Bond movies start where he's like fighting someone. So obviously it was it in Sean Connery's movie. Um, you know, it was a big reveal when I was like, this is James Bond. And then I, can't, I don't think with the Roger Moore movie, we did had it. I can't recall. I feel like he just ended up in bed. But um, like, I think like something happened at the beginning, right? Of the episode or of the movie, sorry, not episode. But this one, it was like something at the beginning of the movie, but that James Bond was in. So it was like something he's in a mission. And so that's something like you now always see in the James Bond movies. He always starts out in a mission. And you can also see like, like, you know, the, the team, the British intelligence, whatever he's part of is like, you know, there's so much more money and operation and everything there as well. And so I guess M is now in this, like she's the same actress that I think is in Pierre Brosnan and then Daniel Craig's movies, and then the Pennywise, or whatever her name is, like, that actress changed as well. I feel like it was the same one for a while, because, like, she's not, you know, doing action, like, you know, she could last long, or she's not fighting bad guys, um, but yeah, now it's definitely a different actress, so I think, like, something I'm just really noticing is that, like, as the James Bond movies go along, just, like, how much more money's in it, how much, you know, the special effects are, how much the fighting is. And that's what I really like is when action movies have more fighting. And I feel like action movies, you know, in those 60s and the 70s just didn't have enough fighting, but because they did have some fighting, they're classified as action movies. But at the time, like maybe that's all they could do. But anyway, this is getting long, so I'm gonna end it here. But the movie for next week is Skyfall from 2012 with Daniel Craig. If you could believe it, that's the one we're doing. I know, right? You could probably guessed it unless you didn't. If you didn't guess that one, you know, comment below what you thought it was gonna be. But that's the last one we're gonna do. So anyway, uh, comment below your thoughts about Dr. No, The Spy You Love Me, Tomorrow Never Dies, and then watch Skyfall for next week. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and bye.